Arr. Today we'll be looking at Gillington Gill Weber. Okay, so we're looking at Gill today. I'm kind of disappointed. I was expecting a Rabuti, but guess what? He is exactly the same. I'm pretty sure. I'm looking through the box. I was hoping that all of the boys would look more like Deuce, but no. It's kind of cool that there is more than one boy buck, but I don't really like this lanky one. Anyway, the packaging looks fantastic. It's a pirate. I thought these goggles looked familiar. We'll talk about this later. I do. I love the artwork and the packaging, and it is from the line Shriekwreck. Now, I don't know where the subline is because they were putting the sub-series line in here, but maybe they're not doing that for this part. Also available is Claudine Wolf and Catherine Demu. I don't know how they say her name on the show. That is her French name. I found this at Toys R Us in Canada. I found him and Catherine, and they were alone, and it was just the two of them. I asked somebody to check in the system to see how many more there were. Were they hidden somewhere? She said there were three, but I looked everywhere and I couldn't find Claudine, and I don't think that they came in the case of three. I think maybe little girls were buying it, perhaps, and little girls don't like the boy characters. Usually, of course, more people wanted the Claudine. I wanted a Claudine. Tomorrow I'm going to have to go look for it, but I thought you guys might want to see a good review of Gil. I'm just going to open them up. I can't see very well. Is that acceptable? It's got one of those Ever After High tab things. Let's see if I can open this up very carefully, considering I love the box so much. It's glued down two sides. I'm gluing it down the two sides. Oh, and there's another tab at the bottom. Okay, so not bad. And then you can split the card in two if you like to get in from the back. Will I do that is the next question. I think the crease is at the bottom here. If it's taped at the top, if you cut the tape along the sides, so if you stick your hand in, you can get a nice open card. This is the best I've been able to ever save a card. And then you can take care of business here. I don't have my pliers today, unfortunately. His head is not fastened down. Something they started doing is using plastic inserts as a bed. And you can easily take these out. Oh yeah, I like this. You can get a really clean card, even though you do have to strip it down those two sides. This is what the backdrop of the card looks like. Pretty spooky awesome. So here he is. Let's just take a look at him. And his sneakers, boat shoes. And he's got these shorts on with that great fishbone pattern. He's got this anchor t-shirt, very nautical. He's got this very cool necklace with a hook on it and a chain and it just pulls off. And then he's got these goggles on with the cross bone. Oh, and over here he's got something on his wrist. Weird, because it's got the hook that's poking near his hands. This is what his hands look like. They're a little different than normal because they don't have that clear texture in them. I always wondered how they did that. I thought they made it like it was so thin that you could see through it because it wasn't a different plastic. Now here's the thing. I thought I had recognized these goggles from somewhere before. Check out the last release of Gillington. Okay, they're different because these ones clip into his helmet, but they are pretty much exactly the same. Different colors, of course. This gill is the gill from, I don't know, the one where him and Laguna are going rollerblading or roller skating. The helmet's hard to take off, I forgot. Before we get into the comparison, here is the accessory it comes with. It's a really cool duffel bag. I like it. It's like lots of space in there to put stuff. So these goggles on the new one come off like that. They're like kind of belt. Now they are stapled into his head. I'm going to take those staples out. It leaves a hole in his head. Not cool. One of them didn't come out. So a very similar design. The old one's more translucent. This one goes fully around his head. He's exactly the same. Down to his mohawk, his fin arms. These are a different plastic, but they're the same mold. 
his legs, everything. The accessories really are cool. I love the hook. It's very uncomfortable and edgy. And on his bracelet as well. That hook that hooks right next to his hand. So I'm actually really disappointed because this was supposed to be a reboot. They said everything was going to be new. This is the exact same doll. And I wouldn't be as disappointed had I not seen how good the new Deuce body is. We're gonna do a little guessing game. Do you know which one's the new and which one's the old? Were you right? Maybe his face is a little broader. No, this one's face is broader. Okay, he is slightly different. And see his eyes are a little bigger? Now I'm seeing the difference. The thing blah, 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 on his head is exactly the same. Oh, maybe it's not. No, it's not. It's a little different too. After all that criticism, it's like exactly the same, but it's been re-sculpted. But he sure looks alike, and I'm sure the body is the same sculpt. I don't know, I can't tell. Maybe it's just folded down a little bit more. It's really hard to tell. He is so similar though. I wish the change was more drastic. I'm gonna show you the shirt better. Shirt looks like this, and Velcro's on the back. It's awesome. The shorts, they're cool. If you haven't seen Agil before, he's got a pretty cool back. He can easily put his backpack on. Unfortunately, I don't have a deuce, but the body is very close to an Ever After High. You can see the difference to how he will look next to Deuce. Much thinner, more lanky. He's okay. I like the theme. I'm not sure who is the first boy. It's strange not to get their signature dolls first. Still, in Canada, the signatures have not shown up at any store. Just today, I saw new things coming in. This is the first reboot stuff to come to Walmart. I don't know if anybody's seen these mini accessory packs. So those are cool. One for Dracula and one for Frankie. And then you guys have seen these. I think everyone has seen the fashion packs. Those I got at Walmart, but Gil showed up at Toys R Us. Just one Toys R Us. I was at three today. I just saw him and Catherine at one of the three that I went to when there were only two of them. Only two dolls total. Not just the two characters, but two dolls. Oh yeah, we need to see if his goggles go on without the staples in his head. Yep, they're staying really fine. The staples aren't a big deal to keep the mask on. I need to put all of his stuff back on. But I think his bracelet wasn't on right in the package. It looks much better like that. I don't know how they had it on, but that looks really good. The hook down the front of his hand. Yeah, I do like the accessories. They're pretty cool. I like that they're not painted, even though there is some paint on this bag. At least those are really good complementary colors. Let me know what you think of him. Are you happy that he's exactly the same? He actually has a more masculine face because it's just a little thicker, a little bigger. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Ah, he be a reboot. Me booty. Me rebooty. It's a rebooty.